Hi everyone. So I borrowed my nephew's uh, 16 inch new MacBook Pro. And of course, this is the latest and greatest machine that Apple has. And I have it next to my 13 inch um, MacBook Pro, the 2018 version. The number one thing I want to show you is the keyboard. I mean, I'm surprised uh, that some YouTube videos don't really look into more into the keyboard. Yes, there's a lot of new features um, other than the keyboard, but here's the 2018 um, 13 inch MacBook keyboard, and you can see the key, the height of that key, very flush to this metal here. And now let's look at the key for um, the 16 inch, right? And you can see it's a little bit higher, just a little bit. Now, compare that to say the keyboard, the keyboard that comes with the Mac, um, I'm, iMac Pro, right? Way, way different in size. This is the keyboard that I'm really more accustomed to. Much, much higher. Okay. So let's um, let's listen to these three uh, keyboards. Okay. So let's try the 2018. 13 inch a MacBook Pro. Well, let's see how it sounds. One thing about this keyboard that I never liked is it, it's a little flat. Um, you feel like there's not enough travel when you hit the key, especially if you're so used to the IMAX keyboard. And I think that's really the issue. So you heard that one. Let's try the new Wow, the new 16 inch version. Let's see how that feels. Definitely more comfortable. I don't feel, I feel like there's some give to it. Definitely nicer. But then again, I'm used to that type of, there, there, there's a sound, feel. The other one feels so digital, so cut, so like, I don't know, like, Perfect, right? Maybe again, if somebody's been, if somebody just started with the 2018 keyboard, they would feel that one be too soft. So let's listen to the iMac Pro keyboard. Let's see how that, see if there is, if I feel any different.
Oh yeah. You can definitely feel some difference. This keyboard is really much softer. Uh, flows a little bit just because I've been using it more. But the 16 inch keyboard is really a good um, has a very close feel almost a close feel to the keyboard not quite but way way different and of course the 2018 uh, keyboard well for me I never liked it and I think that's just probably a bit biased just because I'm so used to the keyboards that Apple makes. Can I work with this? Yes. Do I make more mistakes here? I think so. Can I get comfortable with it? Probably. Is this one better? Is the 16-inch keyboard better? Yes. If you're really a person that's worked with, you know, uh, Apple keyboards. But that should give you an idea of the sound. Let's, let's do that one more time. Let's listen to the sound on this. Yeah, definitely much softer more confident sounding um, and let's let's hear this one more time it kind of reminds me of a modern version of an IBM keyboard you know it's a like clack 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 which felt pretty neat when you were like typing I think that's what they were going for I don't know, but the travel is not there. It's like, it's it's sort of like you're so accustomed in typing, you're pressing the buttons, you know, you know how far you're supposed to like press the button. And here it's it's kind of like you press the button, you're, you're not sure if you pressed it all the way in or not. It's pretty hard to explain. Um, but as you saw right um the travel on these are a bit different this is the 2018 keyboard not so much travel and here is the uh, 16 inch right different different travel all right i hope uh that gives you an idea of the differences between the three keyboards that uh, and give you a sense. Uh, go to an Apple store, mess around with them, see if you like them, uh, which one you like. Tell us what you like the best. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.